quick vid today on why at our bird we don't teach the jab. It is obviously the most basic punch. It's the first punch you'll probably be taught in any boxing club or MMA club. But that's not what we do. We're, we're a self-defense club. So you have to look back and go, what is the purpose of that particular technique? Will it apply to self-defense? The jab works perfectly in a match fight, which I'll cover in another video. But for self-defense, everything the jab does, we don't need. So if we look at what a jab is, it's a rangefinder. Yeah? If you're close enough to jab, you're close enough to come in with, with, with a heavy powerful punch. We don't need to throw out a punch to find our range. Our lead hand from the fence already tells us whether or not the other guy is in range. I will be doing another video on the fence in detail. Don't worry. But the fence, our lead hand on the fence tells us if the guy is in range. The jab is a point scorer. You don't need to score points in a, in a real fight because there's no judges. That's not how it works. A real fight doesn't work where we're both going to do this for, for a set amount of time. And then at the end we'll ask people's opinions on who was winning. It doesn't work. The jab is a distraction. You can distract the guy with three or four jabs then come in with a heavy blow. We don't need a punch as a distraction because we've got our question. If you're not familiar with the fence, all this might not make too much sense, but don't worry, it will do when we release the video on the fence. So, the reason we don't throw the jab is because it's not needed in the self defense situation because we've already got a rangefinder, we've already got a distraction, there are no judges or referees, so we don't need any point scoring. So, if it's not needed for self-defense, we don't have it on our syllabus. It's also the reason we don't have any sacrifice throws. Even though you might you know, see the Tomonagi, which is also known as a monkey flip, um, in a lot of films and in pro wrestling and stuff like that, it looks spectacular. It's a really good throw to watch. But, as with all sacrifice throws, the clue's in the name. Sacrifice. We don't want to be throwing ourselves on the ground, because it's not always going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. With that, also... If I'm close enough to hit you with a jab, then I'm close enough to hit you with something quite powerful, such as a cross or a hook. So why would I want to tap you lightly with a jab if I can land a really solid heavy shot? The other thing is, with self-defense and, and using defense, we want to lull the, the other person into a false sense of security. When we actually hit the guy, it should come as a total shock. Any decent boxing trainer will tell you that it's the, the blow you don't see coming that knocks you out. So why would I want to tap the guy with a jab so he can immediately pull up a guard when I can have him with his arms by his side being really cocky, giving me his jawline and his chin, that I, can, I know I can crack it with one shot, I know I can hit it hard enough to take him out of the game, even only for a split second, which will then allow me to either run away or latch on and go for him. So... The jab isn't needed because it's tipping the guy off that we're fighting. I don't want him to know we're fighting until someone's waking him up and I'm long, long gone. So, we don't need it because we've already got a range from our lead hand with the fence. We don't need it because there's no point scoring. We don't need it as a distraction because we've got a little tricky question that we ask. And we don't need it because we don't want to tip the guy off that he's about to get smacked. Um... I get a lot of comments and, and, and private messages from boxing purists and, and other striking people who do tell me that I'm completely wrong on this. Any view or opinion you have on it, please do let me know. Uh, you can either comment on this video or private message me if you'd prefer the, the conversation to stay private. Um, any questions or anything else like that about self-defense or my view on self-defense or what we teach at Arbord, please do let me know. Um, I look forward to your comments.